How y'all doing? This is Murray Matthews, our creator of Mr. Dawn Productions and author of the new book, Dream No More, Rise of a Life. Hey man, if you're a blur like me, man, if you grew up watching anime, playing video games, you you know you love things like Dragon Ball Z, like Final Fantasy, like Yu Yu Hakusho, I'm telling you, player, this is your book, man. I, I wrote it specifically for my blurred fam, especially young adults. It's, you know, friendly, family friendly for everyone. No curse words or nothing like that. So please go ahead and pick it up. And, be and best of all, black empowerment is all within this book, man. The main cast, all black. You feel me? The, this is the book. You feel me? Let's get it. You know, you can pick this up right now at Amazon.com. Or Lulu.com. Lulu, you can get this hardback version. On Amazon, you can check out the ebook and you can check out the paperback version. Thank you for all the love and support. Please, please consider leaving an honest review. Thank you. All right, so let's get into today's topic, man, because, you know, I'm excited about this. I'm excited about helping people develop their project and develop their world. You feel me? And, uh, you know, books is very, very inspiring. And I know there's a lot of expiring authors out there who, you know, who needs that extra push, you know, especially considering, you know, uh, how how confusing the process can be. I mean, it was for me. And I want to help, uh, you know, reach back and sort of help people, you know, uh, figure out the landscape per se. You know what I'm saying? So I... I wrote an article not too long ago on my blog uh, about finding your target audience. And, you know, in, in specific when it comes to novels and writing novels and writing stories. And I wanted to help people uh, sort of narrow down the things that they need to pay close attention to when, um, you know, when trying to, gra trying to get that target audience to gravitate towards their project. So I'm going to go, I'm going to make a quick video about that. And uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to have a, a bit of an announcement for people, you know, especially all of the fans and all of the supporters out there. So uh, thank you all for all the love and support. So let's get into this. All right. So finding your target audience, there's seven things that I want to people to take away from this video when it comes to this topic. And it's very pivotal that uh, you should think about this and utilize strategies in order to help you figure out who is your target audience and try to, you know, harness, harness that, uh, that core base. So the first thing you should be doing, you should be, um, you should be cataloging all of the basic information for your book. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? You should know the genre that you're in. You should know the page count. You should know the word count. You should know the style of writing, the summary, everything that uh, all the little details about your book, you should know that already. Now, you know, to be fair, to be fair, only, you know, not that many people know exactly what what it is what those things are when they first start a project you know what i'm saying so you know some people know some don't um if you don't know that's okay it's all good you, what you should be doing is what you should do is you should write about 10 to 20 pages you know 10 to 20 pages and by by the time you finish uh writing those pages you can look back on your project and you can get a good feel, a gauge of the direction that your project is taking. Now, that's very important. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you can, you can actually, you know, uh, you know, sort of manipulate or, you know, at least get a good prediction of the direction your novel is taking. Is it going to be a long story? Is it going to be a short story? Who is it catered towards? That type of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, once you have that, once you have you know, uh, those specifics, those, you know, those specifics of your book that jumps to number two. So at that point, you have to research the landscape. All right. You have to know what you're getting yourself into before you further get into it. Right. Google is your saving grace. OK. All right. That's what it was made for. It was made as a research tool to help us search things. OK. Find things, find information very important. Use Google or if you, you know, you old school, you know, take a gander at the, uh, at the library, you know what I'm saying? Where there's all multiple 
a whole plethora of tools in the library. You, you can go to your local bookstore, you know, research the books that are in your genre, okay? You want to research the books in your genre, and you also want to research who is buying those books and which of those books is getting the most, you know, getting the most traffic. Why are they being, you know, why are people gravitating towards that book? What is the qualities in that book that people love and enjoy the most about it? Those are the kind of questions you want to ask yourself when you're doing this thing. You feel me? So, with that being said, you know, this will give you a good idea of, you know, of who's in the field, you know, your your competition, It'll give you a good idea of, of the people that enjoy this particular uh, genre, you know, who, you know, who are the secondary uh, demographics that, you know, gravitate towards this, who, who doesn't like it whatsoever. Those are the things you want to know. At that point, that brings us to number three. Number three is find your project's uniqueness, okay? That's very important because this will help your project stand out from the crowd, okay? You have to, you know, if you can't find any any uniqueness due to the fact that I, you know, I recommend that you write 10 to 20 pages before, you know, you start this process or whatnot, uh, you still have time during the development phase to develop some sort of unique quality to your project. You see? You see what I'm saying? That uniqueness is your selling point. That's your selling point. Okay, say it with me. That's my selling point. All right, cool. When you have that uniqueness, you feel me? You can use that to not only, uh, you know, not only capitalize on branding, but you can also use that for advertising as well. That's very pivotal to capturing those eyeballs, getting attention, you know, getting getting people asking you, hey, what's that book about? Or, hey, that's dope. I like that concept. What'd you come up with that? You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, that gets that conversation started. That get that conversation started. That's what you need. That's what you're thriving on. Good stuff. All right. Once you got that, now is the perfect time to ask yourself this question, which brings us to number four. Would you buy your own book? Okay. All right. Now, now listen, hear me out. Hear me out. On the surface, most people would say, yeah, I'll buy my own book. I'm the one that made it. Why wouldn't I buy my own book? You see what I'm saying? Like, I, okay, okay. Listen, hear me out. Even if people would say that, they would rarely ask themselves that question. I mean, think about it. Who asks themselves the question, would I buy my own book? You see what I'm saying? Now, the reason why this question is very important to ask yourself is because it determines whether or not you yourself is a part of your demographic that you are trying to get to purchase your book. You see what I'm saying? This gauges the level of passion you have for the writing. This gauges the level of determination and perseverance that you have to complete this project. This determines the the uh you know the amount of resources that you would probably put into it. You know what I'm saying? Your emotional attachment to this project. You know, it 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 also determines whether or not you are already in tune with your target audience where is the market moving where is you know what are the outside influences do you know the things that are happening within the demographics of this field that's why this question is important you feel me all right cool cool and now if the answer is no that's okay that's perfectly fine don't don't throw a gasket it's all good it's all good what you need to do is you need to start consulting people that are in your demographic, okay? Use your demographic to help you develop your project. That's what's important, okay? All right, so which brings us to the next question. You got to find some friends and some groups 
in this demographic. Look, a lot of people nowadays, they, you know, they, they, they like to think, well, you know, you know, capitalism is all about, you know, the companies, you know, just, they, they just getting this group and they getting all these things, all these hobbies and interests and they capitalize off of everything. They make it, you know, they make it just all about money, 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 money. Look, you have to understand that if you do not understand your target audience, if you do not understand your demographics, the people that you are catering to, you're going to have a hard time getting any money. Real talk. You feel me? Like, come on. Now you know how much money people spend on studying demographics and trying their best to gauge where a field is heading to? I mean, a lot of the times it's unpredictable, but I mean, hey, it's worth it. It's very worth it. And just like this, it's worth getting to know the people that you are attempting to serve, okay? So go out, meet some friends in the field, man. If, if you are writing a, a if you're writing a novel about, you know, about um about a fairy tale world that are catered towards a certain demographic of, you know, a fairy tale world or whatever, uh with, you know, with with young teens or whatnot, go meet the parents and the stores and the malls and the market, whatever, everywhere the market is going towards that cater towards this demographic. This is your market. You have to get to know people in the market. Okay. You got to know what the parents want. You got to know what the parents want for their children. You got to know what the children are, uh, are gravitating towards when it comes to this particular product. You know, do they like glittery, glittery, you know, fairy tale uh, illustrations? Do they, you know, do they like, uh, you know, a lot of unicorns and stuff in it? You know what I'm saying? It's just an example off the head. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to get to know all of this stuff because that's very important. And not only that, you know, when you're out, you know, meeting parents and meeting people, be sociable, man. There's it, nothing wrong with that, you know. F dress, dress fly, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but, like, don't go out stinking or anything like that. Don't do that, okay? Be professional, be courteous, be friendly, man. Like, you know, depending on your demographics, always depends on your appearance and your approach. You see what I'm saying? So, with that being said, you know, be sociable. Don't be afraid and mention your product in conversations. You know, let the conversations flow, man. Don't you don't no need to force your product into people's faces. Nah, nah. Just let it flow. Let it be smooth. You feel me? And doing the conversation, mention, you know, mention your project and stuff like that. And people people get interested in it. They're like, oh, that's dope. You're making a you making a book for you making a book. For my, uh, you know, for my child. That's awesome. Like, tell me about it. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, you get to talking about details. And people will gladly give you feedback. And that's what you need. You need some feedback. You know, because that feedback will, will, you know, help you go towards the direction that it needs to go. You feel me? So while you're doing this, you want to make sure you're writing down you know, writing down suggestions, you know, writing down feedback, writing down who's not, you know, who's not feeling the, the vibe of your, of your project, who is, and, you know, keep an, keep an eye on that, right? Now, that brings us to number six. Narrow down the archetype of your buyer, okay? Who is the the most the most common person that will what is the makeup of the most common person that will buy your product okay you got to have that archetype all right you got to know exactly who it is what they look like their physical features what they their hobbies their likes and dislikes you need to know their age you need to know their beliefs if you can you need to know features as much stuff as you can, okay? The the more you narrow down your audience, the better. You feel me? You need to narrow that down 
and be like, okay, that's my that's my target audience right there. That person, you know, they look like that, or they do this, or they're into this thing. You see what I'm saying? That's what you want. That's what you want. Last but not least, number seven, you want to tailor your project to your buyer. Okay. Now that you now that you got that archetype, you got all this information, you compiled it. Now you can actually, if you haven't already gotten your project, you know, to the end of the editing phase and stuff like that. Now is the perfect time to start tailoring the project, editing it. Uh, does it need more words? Do do your target audience like to read, you know, long books, or do they like to read short books? Do they like more illustrations? Do they like less illustrations? You know, uh, what kind of writing style do they like? You know, your graphic designer, what kind of what the what the cover looks like, what the interior design is going to uh, feel like, what, how the flow of the story is going to work. You know what I'm saying? Descriptive writing, that type of thing. You want to, you know, tailor it as much as you possibly can. And you want to make sure that your target audience, you know, feels comfortable. Comfortable, you know, reading and engaging your product. Now, that's all I have for today, fam. This was great. Now, check this out. Announcement. We officially have a Patreon page now. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We got a Patreon page. So for all my supporters out there, much love and respect. If you like to support the uh, platform on Patreon, I will leave a link in the description below and I will start leaving that link in every video. I will be mentioning it. You know, that is our new social media platform. We will start to roll out more specific information. In, in the form of videos on Patreon that only Patreon members can access, okay? I will have a follow-up video to this video on Patreon, right? And I'm actually going to go over the same criteria that I just told you guys. I'm going to go over how my book panned out with all of this. You see what I'm saying? And it's not to say that, you know, I know everything in the, in, the, in the world. I'm no expert by any means. I'm still learning. And I'm merely attempting to help, you know, help my people, help my people, you know, uh, dispel or demystify the process. Because that's what we need. We need more helping hands in the world that will help people bring their creative mind to fruition and that's what i want to help y'all do so for all my supporters please go to patreon.com okay and search for dream no more or not dream no more rise i'm sorry search for minutes till dawn productions and that's my page you'll find me there and i also leave a link in the description and last but not least please please if you like to support and if you like you know some dope some dope storytelling. Uh, we got martial arts, you know what I'm saying? We got, you know, we got, uh, you know, family oriented, you know, uh, content in the book. It's dope sci fi, fantasy, you know, martial arts and black empowerment. We got you right here, family. Dream no more. Rise of a lion. You can go to lulu.com right now, get this book, uh, the hardback, or you can go to Amazon to get the, uh, Paperback and the ebook. So, thank you guys for everything. I really appreciate y'all. We at the 20 minute mark, so let's shut it down. Hey, this is Mario C. Matthews, owner and operator of Ministerial Dawn Productions, and thank y'all for everything. Everlast.